Irish dancing on the grass in sneakers. Family reunion the size of a football team. Playing bagpipes from daylight till dark. Clover tattoos. A slow roasted corned beef. Corned beef and cabbage. Cheers. Guinness and green froyo. Hand painted Lucky Charms. We're selling raffle tickets. Here. A raffle to win a $5 pot of gold. $2,000 grand prize. And kids who can Irish jig until way past their bedtime. Now that's what you call dedication to heritage. Most of us have been involved in the Irish community for decades, and we just keep supporting each other and our love of Irish heritage in Ireland. And so on a crisp September day, all things Irish are celebrated at the halfway to St. Paddy's Day party. Sponsored by a pub dubbed the best Irish bar in the nation, Crow Patrick's in Willoughby. Co-owner Kevin Coyne says the annual event began in 2005 as a personal tribute. Uh, a good buddy of ours, uh, Brian Montgomery, he uh, passed away over in Iraq. And so we decided to get together, have a big hooli at the bar in honor of remembering his life. We just called, they got bagpipers, Irish dancers. Uh, the Marines came and did a, a fantastic salute to Brian. He says the event grew so fast they had to move it to a bigger venue here at the Willoughby Eagles Hall. Uh, what is this, our eighth now? And now, eight years later, it's a bash many would not miss. Oh, Kevin's the halfway party? Yeah. Love it. Been here every year that he's had it. I, I think it's it's just a wonderful event. It's a great location. He's always been pretty lucky with the weather, too. I think it's some of that Irish luck. Combine that luck with classic Irish traits like strong family bonds, care for community, outgoing nature, and loyalty. Well, you soon understand why so many here support Kevin and his Irish family. We're just so proud of them that they're able to put this event on, and we're proud to be a part of it. Um, they mean a lot to the community. They mean a lot to our family, and we hope that we could always support them. We love them very much. For Nancy Donovan and her mother Mary Jean, support means staging their family reunion at the halfway to St. Patty's Day party. This is a wonderful place for a family reunion. My sister, my sister Eileen, came from the West Side, and a lot of her kids. Are, in fact, my niece Monica and her husband drove down from uh, New York. This event is great because it brings families together, brings people together. We get to talk to each other and see each other again. Author John O'Brien is a founding publisher of Irish American News. He looks around and sees a symbolic passing of the torch. The connection has gone back generations, you know, especially for a lot of people like my dad who came from Ireland, didn't know anybody when they came here. They packed a suitcase, got on a boat, and that was the end of their life. And when they came here, they tried to find family. And that's what they found. They went to the pubs, they went to the dance halls, and that's where they met up. And it's great to see it again. That's a third generation. A third generation that does know the same old toasts. May the roof above us never fall in, and us friends below never fall out. Slaunch it. And sing the same old songs. You'll come and find the place where I am lying. A classic fave, Danny Boy. But Tommy back with summers in the meadow. Joe O'Donnell is the inspiration behind the Danny Boy singing contest at Crow Patrick's Pub. He's reigning champ. You gotta bring, take it from the heart. If you don't take it from the heart, you can't do no justice to the song. Do you see a lot of heart around here? Oh yeah. There's always a lot of heart around here. Heart that beats faster and stronger when bagpipes serenade this crowd. The pipes get everybody's blood flowing. So we're, we try to play a lot of nice upbeat, up-tempo types of tunes and things like that. And, uh, and honor our military and, and that's why we include um, the anthems for all of the branches of the armed forces as well as um, Amazing Grace after that. Uh, just honor those that uh, we've lost. Which brings us back to where it all begins.
small salute to a fallen friend. And a theme that's carried over to the charity benefiting from this party. The Camp Aaron charity, it's uh, young kids that have lost a loved one in their life. Kevin's wife Meg is a counselor at Camp Aaron. The couple says next year they hope to help the charity even more. One, two, three, four. With an even better halfway to St. Patty's Day party. Oh, my hair is stole my comb, that's all right till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty, she is the belle of Alpha City. At an even bigger venue. Our saying at the Irish pub goes, may your home always be too small to hold all your friends. And that's, that's how we feel it should be.